Good evening, everybody. It's Zechariah from Running for Heroes. It's now doing one mile and it's for a fallen deputy who lost his life in the line of duty. And it's not running for fallen deputy Jeremy Malone. He worked with the George County Sheriff's Office in Mississippi and his end of watch was January 4th of 2024. He lost his life after he was shot and killed during a traffic stop. His age and service were not readily available, but we do know he leaves behind a wife and three daughters. Tonight I'll be, tonight, I'll be running with the Blue Line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track without my school, which is the equivalent of a mile in his honor. And tonight we're going to be joined by the Simmons County Sheriff's Office and the Winter Springs Police Department. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department the cards I'm already going through, and then I'll be on my way. Those that are tuned in tonight, tonight Zechariah doing one mile. This mile in honor of fallen deputy Jeremy Malone. He served with the George County Sheriff's Office in Mississippi, tragically losing his life on January the 4th, 2024. He lost his life after he was shot and killed while conducting a traffic stop. His age and his length of service was not made readily available. However, we do know that this hero left behind a loving family that includes a wife, as well as three daughters. As Zechariah completes this lap, he'll be completing his first of seven laps tonight, which is one mile this evening, and on fallen deputy Jeremy Malone. We always appreciate the various local agencies that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside our youth runners. Tonight, helping Zechariah honor fallen Deputy Jeremy Malone, we have a member of our home county, the Simla County Sheriff's Office. Our home city, Winter Springs Police Department, was lined up and ready to take part in this run as well, but we're just called out. Once again, we're here to pay tribute to a hero from the George County Sheriff's Office in Mississippi, fallen Deputy Jeremy Malone, who tragically on January the 4th, 2024, lost his life after he was shot and killed while conducting a traffic stop. Though his age and length of service was not readily available, we do know that he leaves behind a loving family that includes a wife as well as three daughters. This run slightly delayed due to a front that was passing through. There's still a little bit of rain tonight, but Zechariah wanted to make sure that this hero, Deputy Jeremy Malone, was honored properly with a one mile run. Zechariah now completing his second of seven laps to complete that mile to honor this hero here tonight in the rain. For every mile that our youth runners complete, a unique flag gets carried and each flag gets sent to the family of the hero that they run to honor Zechariah tonight carrying the Blue Line flag. This flag will begin to work its way to Mississippi, in particular George County, where it will be eventually given to the family of fallen deputy Jeremy Malone. If you'd like information on how you can be a part of the flag mission, you can visit running the number four heroes.org. Zechariah comes around to complete lap number three and begins lap number four. As we always do, we'll go silent for the remaining four laps as we pause to reflect on the life of this hero, fallen deputy, Jeremy Malone. We offer up our heartfelt prayers to everybody with the George County Sheriff's Office in Mississippi morning the loss this hero tonight. We also extend our prayers to his family, including his wife and his three daughters. We hope and prayers that this run honors him tonight. 
And we thank Deputy Mulhoun for his faithful service to his community.
Zechariah, any final words tonight for the family of fallen deputy, Jeremy Malone? To the whole family of fallen deputy, Jeremy Malone, his wife and three daughters, and all of the friends he made during service with the George County Sheriff's Office in Mississippi. We hope all of you heal very soon through this loss. Um, first of all, Mississippi is a state that does not lose a lot of first responders every year. The fact they lost one four days in is terrible, especially after being shot and killed during a traffic stop, which has a million different types of outcomes. Um, but I know that Deputy Malone was a loving man who um, gave it his all during his, his shifts and protecting his community in Mississippi. We hope and pray his family can heal soon and the perpetrator can receive proper punishment. If you are part of the family, I'll be sending his blind flag very soon along with a handwritten note. We hope and pray your whole entire county and family in Mississippi can heal through this loss. At this time, Bob and I join us in a 21 second moment of silence. Just like the 21 gun salute each second day, can one amazing thing he did during his life. Following this well spade prayer, so this time please join us in this 21 seconds. Heavenly Father, tonight we did a one-mile run for a fallen deputy out of Mississippi. God, I pray you watch over Deputy Malone's whole family and his whole department through this loss. God, I pray you can guide them to a better year in 2024 and better than it's already has been. And I pray you guide them to events like this run to help them heal. To the we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us in this one mile. Despite having this mile, we have a few more to do. Please stay tuned for those miles. It would mean a lot and pray that we don't have to do any others. Hope you guys have a great night and a safe... Um, trip if you're a first responder. Um, have a good night, everybody.